Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to go over the six rules on how to achieve your goals. Make sure to watch each one of them so you will achieve any goal you set. Ambition and setting goals are hugely important factors to your identity, so do not underestimate them. All dreams can be achieved, no matter if it's to run a marathon, start a business, or lose weight. All it takes is the right mindset. You probably know a bunch of characters who are so unstoppable in achieving their goals. Whether they are your friends, successful business figures, top sport performers, or even fictional characters, they seem to have a very strong mindset, which enables them to accomplish every goal they made. But have you ever thought, what makes those people so persistent and motivated? What mental strength and general attitude is required to achieve any goal? Maybe you're struggling to realize your dreams in your life. Knowing these rules will allow you to formulate goals and accomplish them. Here are six rules on how to achieve your goals. Number one, set smaller goals first. Often people fall short of their goals because they're too big. Don't do this to yourself anymore. Change your game plan. Long-term goals are great, but in order to achieve them, first you must accomplish smaller ones. In 10 years, you can accomplish anything if you work hard throughout that whole period. You need to ensure that your one, two, even three-year goals are achievable. Don't say that you're going to make a million dollars in a year if you're currently deeply in debt or that you will have a six-pack in three months if you are heavily obese. Instead, break your goal up into small chunks. For example, if you want to be in good shape, focus on eating healthy only for a week and see if you can fulfill that. Picking goals that are achievable will not only enable you to achieve them, but also provide you with more momentum in the process. There's nothing quite as satisfying as achieving a short-term goal, no matter what the goal is. Once you get there, you're fueled by the fervor and enthusiasm of reaching your bigger goal. Number 2. Be specific. If you dream too broad, you achieve the broad nothing. Your goal must be measurable so that it can be monitored, but you also need to provide as much detail as possible about what you intend to accomplish. You can't just say you want to be rich or that you want to be in good shape. It doesn't work that way. Your objectives for money should be measurable and involve a specific amount of money. For example, you intend to have $100,000 net worth in the next year, so you know you have to earn more than $8,000 per month and $1,900 per week, so you have to figure out service business or another way to make it happen. The intention here is being specific. The realization of a goal becomes real when you make it specific. Thinking about reaching your goal, what are you currently doing to achieve it? What can you change to make it more probable to happen? What are you doing during the day? What habits do you have? What time are you waking up? If you intend to lose 30 pounds in the next six months, define what your day looks like by the time you achieve that goal. What exercise will you do? What time are you waking up to work out? What types of food are you eating or avoiding? The more specific you get, the better your chances of success are. Number three, tell only particular people about them. Publicly announcing your goals is a bad idea. The researchers concluded that telling people what you want to achieve creates a premature sense of completeness. While you feel a sense of pride in letting people know what you intend to do, that pride doesn't motivate you and can in fact hurt you later on. The mind is kind of tricked into feeling that it's already done. And then because you've felt that satisfaction, you're less motivated to do the actual hard work necessary. However, a new set of studies reveal that you have a greater chance to achieve your goal when you tell someone you believe has a higher status than yourself. This seems to contradict the previous study. However, it makes sense. When you share it with someone whose opinion you value, you will be much more motivated because you don't want them to think less of you because you didn't attain your goal. If you don't care about the opinion of the person you tell, it doesn't impact your willingness to persist, which is really what objective dedication is all about. When you share your goal with someone you look up to, you will be more likely to be dedicated and unwilling to give up on it. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. We would really appreciate your feedback. Number 4. Use the power of visualization. 
Visualization entails imagining a future event in a mental picture. We need to visualize our goals for them to be achieved anyway. This is a proven method toward achieving our goals. By stimulating your subconscious with visualization, you can come up with innovative ideas to achieve your ambitions. The power of visualization activates the law of attraction, drawing in the right people, resources, and circumstances needed to succeed. It also pushes us to take the necessary steps toward our objectives, encouraging internal motivation. It is a straightforward yet powerful technique that helps the brain know how to work better toward achieving goals. The basic method involves closing your eyes and imagining yourself fulfilling a specific dream as much as possible. During this process, visualize yourself already having achieved your goal. You can also create so-called vision boards, where you cut out pictures from magazines and newspapers representing your goals before creating a collage of pictures showcasing what you would like to achieve. Additionally, daily affirmations help you build confidence and lay out goals clearly. Make sure to use only the positive ones. Old school writing down your objectives also helps us focus on precisely what you want and work toward those goals in a purposeful direction. Number 5. Be ready for adjustments in your plan to achieve them. If you evaluate your progress and you learn that you're wasting your time instead of getting closer to your goals, you can change your approach. You might not notice this if you fail to evaluate your progress on a daily basis. Planes can alter their approach in advance when they spot storms or air traffic congestion, but they eventually make it to their destination. Your goals are very much like an airplane's travel. You are trying to reach your ultimate destination, and in order to do that, you need to be clear about what that destination is. Then, all you need to do is take action and modify your approach along the way in order to get to where we're going in the long term. Be the pilot who is not afraid to change the course. Number 6. Commit to yourself Lastly, in the process of setting goals, only one individual matters. You. You're the one who needs to work out at the gym. It's you who has to work late at the office to complete that task for your boss so that you can score the promotion. You are the one who is responsible for earning more money or eating healthier. You are the blacksmith of your fate. Commit to yourself and then recommit yourself each time you fail. Few years from now, you'll be one year older no matter what. What can you do to aim your goals starts today. Will you be able to stay persistent and achieve them? Time will tell, but we keep our fingers crossed for you. Now we have a question for you. What is the biggest goal you want to achieve? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to learn more about yourself and understand other people better. Check out our other videos. Take care.